Good Sunday morning. We're on our fourth day of our uh, daily devotional from the Bible Engagement Project Learn curriculum. We're in Acts chapter 17. When Paul and Silas arrived in Berea, they found the Bereans very receptive to the gospel. Three things stand out in this passage that I think we should see in our own lives. First, they received the word eagerly. When it came to the word of God, the Bereans had enthusiasm and a hunger in their hearts for it. They were excited about hearing what God had for them. God certainly has things he's speaking to us, but only if we listen for him. That still small voice of the Holy Spirit can oftentimes be crowded out by the clamor of the many voices in our world. That's why we must give time and concentration to listen for God to speak. We must focus on him, quiet our souls, and eagerly anticipate an encounter with him. Eagerness to receive God's word is a good first step to overcoming the tyranny of the urgencies of life. Secondly, the Bereans examined the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. These believers had decided to base what they believed was right and wrong on scripture. The light of God's word is what we need to stay on the right path in life. Reading scripture was a continual practice in their lives. I see a parallel between staying in the word daily and how God fed the Israelites daily with manna in the wilderness. Everyone was required to collect their own manna and only fresh manna was edible. If you tried to live off yesterday's manna, you ended up eating worms. The Bereans spent time every day in God's word. We all need daily fresh manna from heaven. Third and finally, many believed. Because they studied the Old Testament scriptures, they found that what Paul was preaching was true. They listened, they researched the word, and they were convinced of God's truth, and then they responded to it. Lord, we desire to receive, to research, and to respond to your word this Sunday morning. As we gather in our houses of worship, my prayer is that many will believe on you today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. It's Sunday morning. Go to church.